back out on the river. It's Friday. Pretty excited to be out here. Uh, Just got our first ditty pole set out right there. I think you can see it. And then we're just got a couple pieces of cut bait out fishing some of this timber. We're going to sit here for maybe 30 minutes and then we're going to move on to the next spot, throw a couple more ditty poles out and find out where we want to camp. So stick with us and hopefully we get a few fish in the boat. If we don't catch anything, it's not for a lack of trying, but uh, it's spawn right now. So I think that's slowing some stuff up, but it's not going to keep me off the water. So. All right. That's going to be home for the night right there, boys. Ain't the best sandbar in the world. It's kind of gross, but that's where we're going. She's a muddy one. Got it. Shut you off. Let's get a couple baits in the water. Can't catch fish without baits in the water. Seems like a good play to me. Let's go time. I got this problem of being over conservative with bait because now I have a ton of bait. And I should have put live bait on everything, but I digress. That's gonna be our first bait. That green sunfish. It's gonna be the one. It's gonna be the one. Let's get these two out. And then we will put a new hook on the other one because he got pulled off already. Didn't waste no time. Ooh, okay. That'd have been a bad one. Apparently that is not enough to keep him there. That's odd. There we go. That should be though. Let's get him out in the water. Oh yeah. Monster flathead incoming. All right, there we go. That's a good bait. That's a good bait. I think I'm wrapped around the end. There we go, free now. All right, everybody. So we decided to stay on the sandbar we were on, even though we got neighbors, I kind of like this spot. There's a ton of firewood. I think I'm just gonna run everything off the boat, stay in the boat, camp in the boat. Sandbar is pretty crappy. So I think I am gonna go grab some of the wood over there, get that in a pile and maybe make a fire right off the, right off the edge. So I think that's gonna be the plan. I'm gonna throw my third pole out and then we're gonna be here most of the night. Plenty of stuff to burn on this side, so that's nice. That'll burn. I don't know what this is, but I bet it burns. And I bet it'll make a good base to my fire pit. Man, some of this stuff's a little greener than I would have hoped. But I can't do much about that. One of those poles folded over yet? Nope. Sure not. Whew. 
I like it when they make that big crack because that's so you know they're good and dry. All right, guys, let's get the fire started up. Now we can calm down, watch the poles, and enjoy the rest of the night. So, got a little lighter fluid, got a little lighter, gonna make a fire. All right, hopefully, we got enough wood to get us through the night. I really don't feel like scavenging for more, but I think we do. So, that means we probably don't. All right, guys, time to relax, eat some food. Got the fire started right there. Poles right there. Got my nice rolled up airbag resting on that. Oh, man. Can't beat it. Time to just lay back and relax and wait for the bite. Kind of want to go check the ditty poles, but they're going to stay till morning. Or they're not going to stay till morning. And they're going to have a fish swimming around with the ditty pole. I don't think that's going to happen. I think they'll hold. All right, guys. It's about midnight. It's been pretty slow. Not gonna lie, the only entertainment I've had has been coyotes busting off. So I think we're gonna lay out the air mattress. Get a little bit of shut eye. Hopefully get wo woken up to a catfish. Oh yeah. I don't know if that's gonna be just one on the weed again. Get a little fish on there. Oh yeah, fish on, baby. Here we go. We got one. That's gonna be the first flathead of the year. Not too big. Maybe I don't know, eight pounds. But it's good to see they're still here. That's gonna be the first one of the year. Smacked it on a, a live uh, green sunfish on this one. So I actually just laid down to go to bed got up, switched a bait out, a cut bait on the other side, turned all my bait clickers on, and uh, just starting to fall asleep, heard one of the clickers go off. He bit it, we reeled him in. That's a great fish. Nothing massive, but uh, it's good. really good to get one in the boat, not gonna lie. So, first one of the year, let's get him back in the water. <laughs> fight to him. Just want to keep him off the boat. There we go. Yeah, baby. That's going to be a better one, a much better one. Come on, bud. Let's get you up here. There we go. That's gonna be a good one there. Yeah, baby. Not gonna do doing any complaining. That is the deepest I've ever seen a circle hook go. That thing's in there. Way down in the mouth. Pliers to get that out. Be nice. Got it, bud. All right. That's about the deepest hook I've ever seen a circle hook go. Like, it tore me up pretty good. That's a doozy there. That is a good one. On the boat. Just woke me up, it's about 4.30, slammed another green sunfish. I uh, actually hit on the same exact pole, so 
Don't know what that's about, but that clearly must be the better side. So we're gonna get a quick wait on this one, uh, grab a couple pictures, and then we're gonna get it back in the water. So fish number two of the night, and it's a little bigger one. So hopefully we go uphill from here. All right, sweet. Let's get her back in the water here. I'm gonna grab a couple pictures. We'll throw her back in. Thanks for the picture. Thanks for the fight. Appreciate it. Whenever you're ready, big guy. It's alright, catch your breath. Live to fight another day. Hopefully we meet again. We're heading to check the bank poles. That's the next play. Motor's a little cold. A little tired. It's all right, so are we. Let's go see what we can see. Hopefully we got a few more fish on the bank poles. I think we got something on this one guys, it's pulling. So we're not completely trash at giddy poles. I don't think we're that great, but okay. let's grab the net. Getting out of the boat as much as we possibly can. All right. All right, I don't even think we're gonna need the boat. Oh, that's a good channel. That's a great channel. I think you might come home as a eater. All right, guys. Not a bad channel at all. Got him on one of the ditty poles. I think he's gonna come home as an eater. I got some uh, whisker seeker breading I wanna give a try. So he's gonna be an eater. Set him right there. Turn the boat around. All right, so far we've got one with nothing and one with something. So we're 50%, let's go check the next one. All right, here's pool number four. I see some shaking, so we got fish on there. That's good to see. Let's see what we got going on. Ooh, baby, another real nice channel. I think we might make him another eater. Those are good ones. All right, guys. And be a real, another real nice channel. Another real good eater. Some good fish right there. Not sure if that's gonna be lunch, but it's gonna be a meal coming to me real soon. All right, I think we're gonna head back to the ramp. Pretty good night fishing, two really good flathead. Well, one not so great flathead, but it's a flathead and that's a good flathead. The other one was about 16 pounds. Couple of real nice eater channels on the ditty pools. Really appreciate you guys taking the time to watch it, the video if you made it this far. If you guys like this kind of content, it really helps me out if you like, subscribe to the channel. Uh, means a lot to me. I'm trying to get to 500 subscribers, that's my next benchmark. So working my way to that. So if you made it this far, I'd appreciate you subscribe. Hope you guys enjoyed the video and we'll catch you next time.